Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time, I'm Jarissa and I make videos about DIYs and home decor. Today I'm going to be showing you three DIYs that are inspired on boho decor. I decided to reuse some things that I had laying around the house or that I had used for previous videos but I didn't really like anymore. I'm going to be showing you how to make a candle holder, two throw pillows and also minimalistic art. If you like these things, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also to comment in the comment section which one was your favorite. If you do this, I want to thank you a lot because this is a way on how YouTube can know that you guys like my video. And this this is the way on how we can grow this DIY family. So thank you so much for supporting me and for helping me on that. I hope that you like this creation, so let's get into the video. Okay, let's start with project number one. So for this one, I decided to make this beautiful pillow and it just happened to be that I had a color that was almost exactly the same. I got this one at Ikea a while ago and basically I wanted to add a couple of tassels because I feel like tassels make everything look better. So um, I had this yarn around the house and I just made like four tassels, one for each corner, and you can see here how I'm doing it. I was using my phone to make them, but you can also use a piece of cardboard, you know, if you don't have your phone in hand or if you are using it for something else. I also wanted to mention that I'm gonna list as much as possible in the description box and the paint that I'm using and also these brushes I got from Walmart, but I'm gonna try to list something similar in the description box. Once I had the tassels, I started to sew them in with a needle and thread. I just made a little hole on each corner. I put the strings in there. If you want, you can also glue it on, like you can use hot glue or you can use E6000, but I just decided to sew it in because I wanted it to be very resistant. And then I just grabbed a little bit of acrylic paint. You want to make sure that you have a paint that you can wash in case that you need to wash your pillows. And I just decided to make this sign inside. was just trying to fill the whole space of the pillow. And I just got a little bit creative with this and started making drawings everywhere. And as you can see, I went from side to side and I was just trying to make it symmetrical on both sides. I also decided to make the other one a little bit more different. So I made bigger lines on the other one and I just tried to make it look as close to the original thing or as close to the style as possible. And I just kept on making lines until I was satisfied with basically the design. And that's what I recommend you. Just look for something that inspires you and basically just replicate that. Or you can also make any other type of line that you want. I just kept filling it in and adding more and more lines. The lines don't have to be perfect, even the authentic ones, they don't have perfect lines and it just gives it a more rustic and like handmade look when the lines are not absolutely perfect, so I kind of like that. And if you want them to be a little bit more opaque, you just have to go over them and I did go over the lines a couple of times just because I wanted them to show, but you can do it as much as you want or you can also do it in another color. I really love the result and I feel like it really looks like the original ones or like the ones that you see on Pinterest. Now for project number two, I had these paintings laying around and I had been seeing on Pinterest all these minimalistic paintings and I was in love with them. If you have plain canvases, you can just use plain canvases, but as I had these ones, I wanted to use them. So I just decided to paint them all white. And then after I was done painting that, I started to mix my own colors of painting so I could achieve this kind of like cream color. So I just mixed a little bit of yellow and white with a little bit of orange and it gave me this really pretty color. And then I don't know if you could see it, but I was trying to kind of make a guide with the pencil to make the design that I was going to overdraw. At the end, it didn't really look exactly like the picture, but I feel like it came very close. It looks a little bit abstract and I just like how they look. I feel like they look a little modern and they just look like something different and something that somebody's probably going to ask me, what is this? And it's just going to be a topic of conversation. So that's why I liked it. I also wanted to say that you don't have to worry about, you know, when you're making art, you're just supposed to have fun with this and it's nothing like to get stressed about. So just use this as some inspiration to do something that is going to relax you and put your mind into something else. You know, do whatever it is that you feel like doing and do whatever it is that makes you happy because this is something that is just some time that you're going to use for yourself and to explore your creativity. So if it doesn't look as you thought it was going to look at the beginning, it doesn't matter. What matters is to have fun. So keep that in then once I was done with the one that was a little bit of faces, I started drawing the other one that was bases and I just went along with a really small brush and I started to fill everything in the center and again to mix these colors I just started to use a little bit of orange and I added a little bit of red until I had the color that I wanted. I 
I started to make the other color which was just mixing more colors together. As you can see I had to use a makeup brush because I didn't have any more brushes. As I was painting the kitchen I basically used everything I had and I ended up with nothing. This is why you see me using a makeup brush here and it actually worked pretty well. I feel like this is one of the most relaxing things that I've ever done trying to paint something like this because you really have to concentrate and you really have to put a lot of effort into the lines to make them straight so it was pretty fun trying to get this thing done and I really enjoyed it if you're looking for something to do when you're trying to relax trying to paint something because this is very relaxing and making these leaves was very very cool like I don't know I just like the unfinished edge at the ends and I really like how these two things turned out I really like how these paintings turned out and I feel like they go with the vibe and the boho designs. I really like these candle holders and I decided to make something that was similar to it and as I had a base that I had used for one of my last videos that I actually made some decorations for Christmas, I found this one at the dollar store and I paid one dollar for it. Taking everything off the glass containers was very easy because I had used silicone and when you use silicone on glass it's just very easy to take it off so keep that in mind in case you are gluing something. And then I started to measure everything. Once I had everything measured, I just started to cut the material. This is actually something that is used to put under the rug so they don't slide. I don't know what they are called exactly, but I just felt like it has the same or a similar texture and finish to some of the materials that I've seen that are used into these candle holders. So I thought that it was a pretty cool idea because this is something that you can find anywhere. And I know that cane is not easy to find everywhere. Like some people can find them at a special these stores but where I live you can find that and I couldn't find it anywhere right now because I can't go to the store so this is why I decided to use this material and basically this is really easy I just cut the shape that I wanted to put over the candle holder and then I used a little bit of hot glue and that was it um, I just used like one of those electric candles inside and I absolutely love how it looks in the end so these were all the things that I had to show you guys I hope you liked them thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe if you haven't already I will see you on the next time bye